when you open the form for a work list item in your K2 workspace inbox, or when you click on the task assignment link in a workflow task notification email message, you are presented with a workflow task form. This form is often the same physical form as the workflow start form. However, it is configured by default to open with a workflow task view at the top or bottom of your task form. It provides you with a drop-down list showing actions you can take with the task, along with a submit button to save the action back to K2 and complete the task. It is also automatically added to your form when you configure your task step in a workflow and choose the options of do it for me or help me configure it. This is also where the wizard will add a form state to your form with the relevant workflow task action rules to open and complete the workflow task if you tell it to do this. In certain scenarios, you may want to have more control over the task form and not have the workflow task view added automatically to your form with the added form states when your task form loads. You may want to customize other buttons or controls to handle the task completion, or you may want to create your own workflow task view to include on a form. Inside the task step for your workflow, you would choose the Smart Form option, then locate the form you want to use for this task in the Browse Category window. I'll go down into the Categories and select Leave Request Task Form from the Leave Request application. From there, you can move through the wizard and select the option called I will do it myself later. Then finish the wizard out, and from here, you will need to make sure any needed parameters are passed into your task form. Take note that K2 will automatically pass in the serial number for the work list task because the smart form will need this to open and action the task. You can move on and add more functionality to your workflow from here, then, before you go and work on the manual rule edits down in the form, you will need to deploy the workflow to the K2 environment. It is okay if the workflow is not completely finished at this point, just make sure it is error-free before deploying. Let's flip over to work on the form and view edits needed to handle this task assignment. To save some time, I'm not going to go through the entire step-by-step -step process to create a view with controls. However, I do have a view ready to go that we can work with to manually set up task completion. It already contains a table layout with a drop-down list control that will list the actions for the task, and it also includes a submit button for the user to submit their action to complete the workflow task. I also have fields to show the Viewflow report link and instructions for the task. Now, on the Parameters tab, I have created a serial number parameter with the data type set to text. When you set up rules to open or action a workflow task in the Rules Editor, you will need to provide the serial number to K2 through the workflow rule so that it knows which task to open or action. Over on the Rules tab, let's take a look at the initialize event for this view first. Since I'm setting this view up to only handle leave request workflow tasks, I want this rule to open a work list item based on the serial number parameter using the open a work list item action. This action will ask you to select a workflow and choose which task step to open. So in this case, I have told it to handle the leave request review task. Upon further configuring this, we need to pass in the serial number parameter that is meant to tell K2 which task to open. We also want to populate the actions drop-down list with a list of available actions for this particular task. To do this, we can open the controls group up for the view and drag the actions drop-down list over to the actions box here on the left. This will automatically populate the actions list on the form when it loads. This is all we're going to set up on this tab. Now, over on the output mapping screen, we can bring over the instructions for the task, as well as various other workflow and task-related information to present on the form. I'll also put a link to the Viewflow report. From here, we can close this rule out and move on. The next step is to handle the button click event and call the action rule that will action the task when the submit button is clicked. I already have this configured, but basically you would look up the action named Action a Worklist Item, configure it to Action the Leave Request Review task by selecting it from the activity list, 
Then again, you will need to pass in the serial number so that K2 knows which task to action along with the chosen action from the form. In this case, I pull it in from the dropdown list. So I drag that dropdown list over from the controls group in the context browser. This is all we need to do at a basic level. However, you can get more advanced with how you want your views to handle tasks. For the sake of time, let's move over to the form that will handle the task and put this view in it. For the leave request task form, let's drag over the view we just looked at called leave request task view and drop it at the bottom of this form. I'll also give it a title for context. That looks pretty good, so let's look at the parameters section really quick before configuring more rules to handle this view. Remember, when a task recipient opens a task either in K2 Workspace or by clicking on a link in a task notification email message, the task serial number is passed in so that the form can use it to open and action tasks. This parameter will be passed down into the task view we just configured where the rules down there can use it with K2. Leave ID is just used to tell the form which leave request record to populate the form with when it opens. The rule we need to review is the form's initializing rule. So let's go over to the rules tab and edit that rule. To get the serial number down into the view, we can click on the configure link of the leave request task view initialize action. This was added in when we dropped the view onto the form. And here, notice the serial number parameter is set as the parameter that comes into the form. We pass this value down into the view for the rules to use, as I mentioned earlier. When you edit these, just ensure that that number gets to all the places that it needs to get to. At this point, the form is ready to be used to action tasks as they are assigned. When we go back over to the task step in the workflow designer and click through the wizard, notice that it is now picking up on the open work list rule action for the task step. 